lick me, don't lick me. I lost a lot to get inside this spot. Yeah. Get it hot. Lost a lot to get inside this spot. Yeah. Get it hot. All my brothers real, they riding with me. All my brothers real, they dying with me. Good morning, guys. It's Kamara Yvonne. Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be vlogging a day in my life with my puppy. If you guys haven't seen my last video, I shared all of the tips that I wish I knew before I got my puppy. And in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through our day and showing you guys how I take care of her so that you guys can have some sort of idea of what it's like to have a puppy. Currently, it is morning time. It's like 1040. I've been up since 9 a.m. because I like to get myself together before I get her up. So I got myself together, took a shower, got dressed, and now I'm about to get her up, take her on a quick little walk around the neighborhood, and then give her breakfast. So you guys are going to get to come along on our day and see what it's like to have a crazy crazy puppy <laughs> i decided to crate train with her and that is where she sleeps she used to sleep in the bed with me and then she slept with her crate in my room but that just seemed to be too much for her she was listening to the way i was sleeping i always wanted to be with me so i put her crate in the hallway so that she can get a better night's rest and i can get a way better sleep and now whenever i wake up that's when i go and get her at first she was waking me up and at 7 or 8 in the morning but now it is the other way around I get to get a full night's rest by having her sleeping in her crate and I feel so much better about that I'm not exhausted anymore so I typically go and get her between 10 and 11 a.m. and she still sleep every time I go and get her so the crate has been amazing and it works perfectly after they get used to it. She doesn't cry. She doesn't have any issues in the crate. And it's been perfect. So let's go get her and take her outside. Because I know she's ready. She's ready to get out. So let's go get my baby. Good morning. Good morning, puppy. Hi, mommy. Good morning, too. Do you guys see how hyper this girl is? Oh my gosh. Good morning. Good morning. Look at all her fur. Guys, she needs to be groomed so bad. Good morning. You ready to go potty? You ready to go outside? Oh, you ready to go? She's all done, so now we're off to eat breakfast. Carson, you ready to eat? Carson. 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 She's annoying. Y'all, she eats everything off the sidewalk.
what you guys basically just saw was Carson's morning routine where I took her out of her crate, took her outside to go to the bathroom, and then fed her breakfast this morning i gave her eggs mixed in with her kibble and if you guys are wondering sometimes she does have leftover food so that's why there were leftovers in the bowl and the stuff that was around the bowl is actually pumpkin sometimes i mix that in with her food um just because it tastes better it helps with her stomach and pooping and all of that so i like to mix that in her food sometimes but carson really likes table food which is our fault she loves table food she doesn't really like her kibble so sometimes i have to mix stuff in her food that i know she'll like to get her to eat her food and eggs are really great protein and they have a lot of other great benefits for your growing puppies so I only mix eggs in with her breakfast once a week and for the rest of the week it's usually just plain kibble for breakfast and then along with her breakfast well after her breakfast I give her a probiotic treat which I got off of Amazon but I like to give her a probiotic because she is a puppy she eats so much crazy stuff I can't even keep track she eats leaves grass she eats her toys, anything she finds in the house, dust, hair, and I really want to make sure that her stomach is able to push out all of the bad stuff. So probiotics, again, assist with their gut health and helping them to go to the bathroom and get everything out because sis eats a whole bunch of craziness. So that's why I incorporate a probiotic into her diet. And you guys, Carson got spayed last week. So she got spayed last week and all her stitches fell out she's healing up really really nicely but she's still not supposed to be playing or doing any craziness so I've been just trying to keep her as relaxed as possible but she's dying to play she's dying to get back to her normal self so that's been a challenge but yeah I just fought with this dog to try and wash her face and she's really not having it today so I'm kind of giving up on it this is what usually she just has crazy tear stains but they don't seem to be too bad since her surgery she hasn't been crying that much but stop but um I'm not fighting with her I'm not doing it now that she's had breakfast and had a little bit of playtime stop I have a little bit of work to do so we're about to relax while I edit some videos and do some other things that I need to get done today she's just gonna be relaxing um, typically when she relaxes she just chews on like a bone or something that she has these little bones and chews are amazing for her because she loves to bite she always has to be chewing on something so I try to keep a bone or a chew in handy something that she likes she has a lot of different options so that she's not constantly gnawing on me instead she has a whole bunch of stuff that she can chew on and I'm gonna be doing my work she's probably gonna take a nap soon because she naps a lot but that's what we're about to do nothing exciting the last time that I updated you guys on the vlog it was about 1 or 2 o'clock I believe and Carson and I were just chilling watching TV and she was getting ready to take her first nap of the day well I decided to go out around 4 o'clock to go door dashing and she just stayed in her playpen for that and I'm going to show that to you guys so her playpen has everything that she could need she has bed her bed blankets toys water and she could really be content in there for the whole entire day but my parents are home so my mom took her out around six o'clock and they went on a little walk because they like to walk together that's their thing so they went on a walk around six o'clock and then my mom gave her dinner at seven for dinner she just had kibble and my mom mixed a little bit of pumpkin in with it the pumpkin puree so she eats about three-fourths cups of the Royal Canin kibble and that was her dinner now that I'm home it's about now that I'm home all she wants to do is play and it's about 10 6 right now and Carson's bedtime is at 11 I'm very serious 
about her bedtime. I put her in her crate at the same time every single night. Make sure that she has gone to the bathroom, she's nice and full, and then she's in her crate no later than 11.05. And she usually starts winding down around 9, 10, so she's usually ready for bed around this time. But before she goes to bed tonight, I wanted to do a little bit of training with her just to show you guys how we do training, obedience training, and what I get her to do to try and be a more obedient doggy. So for today's training session, I have a clicker because we've been doing clicker training and I've been trying out clicker training to see how it works and that's basically where you click this little thing right here and then see if she knows what that means. So she's looking for her treat. So right when you click, she's gonna expect a treat. So this click basically means I like what you did, you get it, you did a good job, and I'm gonna follow up with a treat. So today I have these high reward treats for her, which is basically treats that are only one or two ingredients so that she's more inclined to follow directions. These are the pure bite salmon treats, and guys, she loves these as you can see. She's ready to get some treats, so I'm going to show you guys how we do her training, and yes, I know you want your treats. You're about to get it. Stop. Thank you. So, I'm going to show you guys how we do her training and all of that, and uh, girl, sit. Good girl. So, as you guys can see, I click first and then follow her treat. Sit. Good girl. Now we're going to transition. Good girl, you lay down. Now let's come up into sit. Good girl, lay down. Good girl, sit. Sit. Good girl, lay down. Good girl, sit. Good girl. Carson, speak, 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 uh -uh, try again, speak, speak, good girl, y'all heard bark is so babyish, it's so cute, speak, try again, speak, Good girl. So she starts to get frustrated, but that's not enough to get your treat. Speak. Speak. Good girl. Whoa. All right. Don't lick me. Don't lick me. I'm back after my shower. It's like 11.10 now, but now it is the little baby's bedtime. And she's super tired, so I'm just going to go ahead and put her in her crate. And then I cover her crate with a blanket so that the sunlight doesn't distract her in the morning. And that usually helps her to sleep in a little bit longer, so yeah. You guys have been able to spend the whole entire day with Carson and I and you guys saw everything that she does from the time she wakes up to now her going to sleep. Hopefully this video has been helpful to anybody who wants a puppy, has a puppy, or just likes watching dogs in general. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please let me know if you guys have any more questions about Carson or her routines or anything that you guys want to know in the comments down below and let me know if you guys want me to do a puppy must-have video where I show like products I feel like are must-haves when you're getting a puppy because I can definitely do that for you guys but I need to go put this little lady to bed and I'm gonna finish relaxing and enjoying my night so no we're not taking out toys Carson it's bedtime so, like I was saying, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Carson, you want to say bye? Say bye. 
Say bye to the people. Say goodnight.